Hi and welcome, I'm Birsta R&B and today I'm finally going to be attempting to make myself some stays. I will be using this Butterwick B4254 pattern and I'm going to be using view A here. I've been meaning and wanting to make this pattern for a while but the more I read about it the more afraid of it I get. So I'm gonna do this in just a couple of steps. I'm not gonna rush through it. Just gonna go nice and easy and hopefully manage to make something that I can actually wear. We do have a new addition to the family. His name is Gunnar and if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen him uh, but I will introduce you better at a later date. He's just he's melting my heart right now. He's so cute. Look at him! He's a little chunk. Oh boy, hello! I've been thinking about making stays for a while, but I never had kind of the correct canvas-like fabric to put underneath it. Well, I found this in a thrift store. It's not completely a canvas, but it's stiff and it's kind of rough. So this would be a perfect layer to make my mock-up in and use that as the innermost layer for this. And I have two ideas for the fashion fabric to put on the outside. And I just created a poll on Instagram and I'm gonna see how that turns out to see which fabric I'm gonna choose. So it's between this mustard yellow and gold curtain or this flowery pillowcase. I reckon I will put more of these types of polls on Instagram. So if you want to participate, feel free to follow me on there. I'd love to, love to see you there. And I would also love to see if you have made these days before, how yours turned out, what was easy and what was not. You can either send me there or comment down below if you want to share your stay stories. All of these come in they're separate sizes so, so you can just cut the size that you want to cut. Uh, I've already done that. I did that right after I shot the pattern video. You can see that here. Whenever I stop filming this, I'm going to be cutting it and I'll show you the result of my first stays. I'm going to put these ones over here because I was excited to start and then I got scared and I stopped. And that's why I'm taking it slow. I'm gonna get these patterns onto here and start cutting and make a mock-up. I figured out where I felt it looked good and found a way to make it fit correctly on the bodice. And because this is cut on fold, it will be pretty symmetrical if you fold it straight on the pattern. It's been over one and a half months since I recorded this intro. And in the meantime, I cut the pattern. I made the... Um, lining and I drew the lines on the lining and that kind of took everything out of me because I got super overwhelmed which I didn't think I would uh, get this overwhelmed with this but it's been the most difficult project I have had thus far. I have everything cut and it's so pretty in this fabric it's so nice and the kind of only thing left to do now is uh, assemble, which is the boning part. Yeah, I keep on moving this, but I think I'm not going to do this today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to give myself the mental rest of not having to bone anything. I'm not going to bone this tonight. I'll bone it tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Let's try to finish this. Let's try to do it. Woo! I 
I've noticed something that might actually be a problem. I don't know yet. When I was ironing on the fusible interfacing, I had to kind of cut it and add to it here because something happened and it kind of got like dragged out a little bit, which is not matching up with like notches and, and stuff. So I am thinking if I should cut this part right now or if I should just move on. I'm gonna move on and see how it <laughs> how it turns out. If this is a little bit too long then we'll just snip a little bit off off the top here. Okay. I want to quickly stress how important it is to press your garment at this stage. Especially if you want it looking this good. It's finally at a stage where it can actually stand on its own, I think. Let's try it. Mm. <laughs> it's finally at a stage where it can stand on its own. That's obviously not what it's gonna do, but I have put all the boning inside of here. This took a while, a long, good long while. It's not the prettiest on the inside, but on the outside, I think it's absolutely quite spectacular and I look forward to being able to finish this properly. Once you just start sewing the channels and cutting the boning and filing the boning and doing that all again for about 10 hours, it's pretty simple and, and I recommend if you're using this pattern, definitely use the instructions and do it in the correct order because you might end up closing something without having the boning in it if you don't put it in straight away. Look, it's like armor. I've also found binding. I'm just really hoping this is enough because this was the only amount available at the store. So let's just hope this is enough to bind the whole of this. I'll show you how it looks on the inside. I used a washable marker. I had a little bit of a problem on the right side here. It seems to have stretched a little bit, but it's okay. I just kind of found the way to make it fit correctly and <laughs> hopefully it's gonna be okay. These are kind of the main areas with fitting issues and I kind of tried to just pin them into where there was no boning going through and because it's all gonna lay very snugly on my body as well, I figured it might be okay. And I'm not gonna show anyone the inside of this <laughs> once, once it's done and ready. Um, next time I actually might use a corresponding color to the outside of the stay, but for, for now I, I'm happy with whatever this is. Just because of the binding, this kind of feels more structurally i don't know more impressive than anything else i have made so i feel like this is going to be my newest kind of like showpiece to <laughs> to have there's just something about this that is very satisfying and it feels more craftsman like do it make sense this just feels more impressive <laughs> it's time to get to cutting and slashing and binding and uh, showing this to you guys. Let's make this love last till Valentine's. Let's spend this night together. Let this fire burn inside our hearts. Let us soak in all the pleasure.
so close, I'm almost there. But the very, very much annoying thing is I went to the store and I bought this binding. I bought this satin, very matchy matchy binding that is absolutely beautiful. Three and a half or four and a half meters that I got of this and it's ugh, it's scraping by it's not enough and i have these three guys left and the rest of this here i'm very torn if i should actually release this video with this unfinished or not but i have i i figured i already started with binding whatever places that i have that kind of match up and already and it's so beautiful it's so pretty i figure i'm gonna do the rest of this and see in the store how long it's gonna take until they get the satin binding again until then i will finish what i have this is so annoying because I've, i'm finally here i'm finally ready to finish this and the project said nope they had it so apparently if I would have gone in on Saturday and not Friday, they would have had plenty of this. Um, but I mean, I, I can finish this now and I don't have to wait for weeks and weeks, so let's get to it. from the bottom now we're here i am so happy with how this turned out this has taken like this this thing has been cursed or something because this has taken a lot of time first up i went with some leather things for the because i thought it would look pretty cool for all the all the binding stuff like on top of here or the back of here or uh, what happened with the lacing is that apparently this, even though this is leather, it just kind of doesn't do it now, but it disintegrates after a couple of, I think it was after the first wear, the, um, I was tightening it for the second time when the lacing for the back gave out. So I got lacing for the back. Uh, I shot the video for the reveal that you just saw and then the lacing in the front things here gave out so luckily i had a lot of things for the back so i have a little bit extra holy just the kind of craftsmanship that goes into this is staggering like i can't believe i made this it's ugly on the inside for sure but I made this and it's so pretty. I'm so excited with like the placement and how it like reflects in the light and it's so beautiful and I am just very excited to wear this on top of everything that I have. I spent a lot of time doing this. I bled for this when I was trying to finish the bias, like the outside binding on this. I had about this much left when I poked a pin in my finger and didn't realize and bled all over everything. So I had to stop, take care of that. And that's just kind of how this project has been. But if you have been wanting to make this pattern, just go for it. Because what I learned from making this is definitely to not let it weight and simmer because then you just get more tense and scared with it so just go for it and if you're gonna mess up you're just gonna learn from it and i'm very excited to make another one the alterations i would make for the second one is to make this part here from the boobies and further down like the the stomach area i would make it 
slightly longer so it would sit more nicely. When I was getting the binding, because I, I was alone, so when I was having this binding in the back here, I went to a store and had them help me uh, kind of get laced up in it. And there was a lady that was so cute. She was so cute. She was like, this is so beautiful. But in Icelandic, that is so fat left. And it kind of just warms my heart. It's so nice to get compliments when you make something. It's like, Mwah. It's nice to get compliments that you look good, but if you made something that you're wearing and you get compliments, it's that extra. I very much think that's it for today. I'm so sorry for the super duper lateness of this. Everything is kind of picking up in the freelance job that I have alongside doing this. So this is just kind of my hobby, which is kind of the reason why I started doing the Friday creepy story videos is just to have something concurrent. I know it's very much different from this and all my goofy stuff, uh, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm very much trying. Tomorrow I'm going to stream on my other channel, Birta's little fun house, playhouse, something. I'm going to stream uh, me doing a chicken run, so feel free to join me there. I will leave the link for you here. Otherwise, I will see you in, in, in the next one. Bye.